Hello everyone, it is I, Riff Raff Hornhelm, and it's good to see everybody again, and I'm back with another presentation from the Dwarven Vault. And today we have another monster review. We're going to talk to you about the dreadful white. That's W-I-G-H-T. And the white is a monster from the Monster Manual, an undead turnable creature. And it's the original Monster Manual. It's used with Dungeons & Dragons and Advanced Dungeons & Dragons, or what is today known as 1E. So the white... That dweller of the catacombs and barrel mounds. Made famous and popular within Tolkien, for sure. Uh, the Fellowship of the Ring has a great encounter with barrel whites. Um, whites are nasty creatures. They have one foot firmly planted in the negative material plane. They are a... Uh, armor class 5 creature. They have 4 plus 3 hit dice. So 4 times 1d8 plus 3 at the end. And they are a lawful evil creature, of course. Undead. I mean, I, I don't know any undead creatures that aren't lawful evil. And, of course, they are also intelligent, but only of average intelligence. They shun the light. For obvious reasons, they lose a great deal of their power if they are in the light at all. So they're always going to be in dark catacombs and tombs and barrows and things of that nature. Now, the white doesn't do very much damage per se. Their cold, icy touch will only do one to four points of damage. However, it has a secondary effect that, yeah, you don't want to have that happen it drains energy. So in this particular case, that means that a touch, a successful touch hit, no save for this part, drains one level of experience. That's a full level of experience. Now, it's not gone forever in the sense that uh, you cannot earn it back as experience points. But once you lose it, you lose everything that goes with it. You lose the extra hit die, if it changed, say, your uh, uh, abilities, your spells, things of this nature, what you could do at one level, you cannot do one level below, you've lost that. Every time they hit you, it happens again. Now, there's only a few creatures that do this within the pantheon of undead creatures from the original Monster Manual. The white is one of them. We've already had a review on the Spectre, which frankly is the worst of the bunch, because that one steals two levels per hit. But the white still is very nasty. And one of the reasons it's nasty is, is you can have up to, I think it's 4 to 16, or is it 2 to 12? But you can certainly have a number of them. And that makes it a lot more challenging from a group's perspective if you run into these. Of course, that also is down to the scenario and the dungeon master and all that kind of good stuff. But they can show up in batches. And in batches, these can be very deadly. Now, like other creatures that are one foot in the negative material plane, the usual raft of things don't work on them. Sleep, hold, charm spells, um, they don't work. Paralyzation, poison, uh, hold person. Uh, cold, all of those don't work. And yes, you can uh, cast a raised dead spell on them to kill them, if you can catch them and do that and all that kind of good stuff. Um, they're a nasty creature, and because they can come in groups, they can be quite effective as an encounter uh, in an adventuring party if you don't have uh, a way of distancing yourself from these, you have some issues. Now, unlike the specter that moves at a very good pace, these don't move super fast. They do move at the same speed as a human. So once again, if you encounter a bunch of them in a dark, dank dungeon, um, yeah, you've got potentially some serious problems. 
if you are unfortunate enough to be brought down to zero levels by whites, uh, you then come back as a half-strength white under the control of the white that killed you. Wonderful. Undead creatures are nasty. And, of course, as dwarves, once again, we, we stay the hell away from these things. We don't like going into those places. No reason for us to go there. That's what you humans are there for. Or the occasional elf. But us dwarves, nah, we'll stay out of that. We'll, we'll stay at the back of the party for that kind of stuff. Now, our dwarf clerics, once again, are a little addled in the brain, so they, they may participate and do things on that side. But us normal fighting dwarves, nah, I'll stay the hell away from it. Thank you very much. Now, of course... And going out to the Greater Hornhelm community about this, I was kind of curious how the white ranked, um, once again, not as uh, dangerous as a specter, but a specter is a lone creature. And whites in numbers of, you know, even two to four of them are pretty impressive with that drain ability. But they aren't impossible to hit. I mean, they're only armor class five, so it's not that difficult to hit these. And, of course, with the whites hiding away in the shadows of the, the tombs and whatnot, um, not always necessarily the easiest to engage. So in a group, they could definitely be a reasonable encounter. And in talking to the DMs in the Horn Elm community, they said, yeah, this, this is not a bad creature. Even though it's not that strong, it is very effective. And uh, they ranked it about a five and a half. I was a little higher than I thought it would come out. I thought it might come out around a five or a four and a half. Um, but that's what they said. Now, once again, whenever there's a level draining creature, uh, players get a little agitated. Uh, they rank this higher. They, they gave it about a six. And uh, there were, I had one person give me a seven. Um, once again, it was more their experience based on what had happened to them in adventures and in the adventures where they had run into a group of whites the whites had been very effective in uh well say demoralizing their party by reducing the levels in the party uh so that everybody felt like they had taken a rather significant step backwards in the encounter uh so not too happy about that i understand but really uh, a white if you're prepared and you have a good um, cleric that is able to handle them, uh, they're in good shape. They're also very vulnerable to certain things. One of the things that they're most vulnerable to is holy water. So whenever you see that holy water on the list of supplies and you go, eh, don't really need that, you might want to reconsider. A few vials of holy water can really save your bacon if you're in an encounter with the undead. One thing I forgot to mention, though, is that if you're going to be in physical combat with a white, you need to have either a silver weapon or a plus weapon, um, a magical weapon, if you will. And that makes sense. It aligns well with other creatures that have a foot planted in either the negative material plane or the positive material plane, is that you usually need to have some special way of being able to strike them. So overall, looking at the, the white, um, nasty creature, any creature that has energy drain as an attack, uh, yeah, you got to watch out for them. Uh, be wary. Prepare. Don't forget the holy water. Yeah, I know. Doesn't sound like much, but if you know that you have a chance of running into undead, you're going in an underground dungeon that's, you know, partly in a tomb or something like that, Take the holy water. You'll be glad you did. So that, my friends, is the white. We hope you found this interesting and informative and entertaining. All that kind of good stuff. If you did, please be so kind as to give us a like. Consider subscribing. Share with your friends. But most of all, come back and see us again real soon. We thank you so very much for your kind support. Take care, everyone. And remember, dwarves rock!